right, so here he is, the number one middleweight contender. He made himself undeniable, and tonight he gets a title shot. We shall see what he can do with it. Yeah, he made himself undeniable. You know, nothing is ever guaranteed. Sometimes you gotta do more. He just kept his head down. He kept working. Whoever they put in front of him, he beat them. And ultimately, he finds himself on the verge of a championship. The preparation has been thorough. The preparation has been very intense. And he feels like they have done everything necessary to become the champ tonight. Now, most people would argue right now the UFC's 185-pound division has never been stronger. And a lot of people believe that this man is going to alter history by resting the title away tonight. We shall see. Here he is, folks. You know who he is, the undisputed UFC middleweight champion. This man has run roughshod through one of the deepest divisions in the UFC, and he is showing no signs of slowing down. He ain't slowing down, John. He, he loves the ability to call himself the champ. A smile is on his face every time somebody goes, hey, champ, how you doing? The guy lives for it. He lives for the adulation. He lives for the applause. He lives for the ability to stay in the spotlight. He will fight to defend his title as if his life depended on it. Huge training camp for him. He feels like he has leveled up in a lot of disciplines of mixed martial arts. And, man, if he presents an even better version, scary proposition for the challenger. And now our tail of the tape for this middleweight championship fight. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, the gentleman. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world, Vicious. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. All right, so here we go with this stand-up only fight. You guys gotta play by the rules. No grappling or wrestling of any type. Also, you cannot do follow-up strikes on the floor. Let's see who the last man standing will be tonight. Goes to the body there. Trading shot. Let's see who's gonna be the last man standing. Just out of range with that right hook. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Great block there. Oh, nice combination there. He is just killing him with volume. Jab, right hand. Body shot, I mean kicks. What a masterful show of different techniques and ability to throw a combination. Oh, yeah, he hurt him back. Woo! How good is this action about a minute in? I think I'm gassing out just watching this thing. I'm exhausted trying to call <laughs> all the strikes that these two men are throwing at each other. What a fun fight. Yeah, I hate to be the punch counter tonight. <laughs> Lands a quick jab. Right hook to the head blocked. Some nice back and forth action here. But that punch no good. That was great head movement. Holy man. Body 
Just over three minutes to go. Oh, well timed with that team. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Nice slip to avoid the left. Missed with that attempt. Well, eventually you know he's gonna turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end thus far. They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counters as we go forward. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Oh, this kick. Oh, huge Superman punch. Hook oh, lands. Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. You gotta go close the show if you get a guy hurt that bad. You can't knock back off and take your time. He's right for the picking. Go and pick the fruit. <laughs> 90 seconds to go. Oh, nice little right hook there. Body shot. Just misses with the straight left hand. Oh, beautiful counter. Man, this is crazy thus far. High volume, high pace, and a huge punch being landed there. Under a minute now to go. Nicely time kick to the body for the champion. Just out of range with that right hand. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Working the inside of that lead leg. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Final seconds here. Oh, it looks like he's got a cut above the eye here. Round two is next. All right, that's the end of the round. Clearly a cut sustained there on his forehead, courtesy of that strike. So the cut man will have to close that up and try to prevent it from becoming an issue here as this fight moves forward. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC, and what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body, he throws them low, but when he goes up top, he's very powerful, and he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight, but he cannot take many more of those types of strikes. You ready to fight? You ready? Come All on. right, round two. Nice. Ooh, big knee. Ooh, nice kick. Oh, well done moving the head there to slip that left hand. Man, his counters are on point tonight. The jab is good. Nice eyes on the defensive side. Left hook to the hook. All right, so as advertised thus far, as these fighters continue to trade strikes. Sidekick lands for him there, champ. A lot of times that is used to manage space. Of inches right there. Wow. 
It was good night if that landed. Misses with the right hand. Moving to his left. Man. That's how you do a beautiful kick by him there. Oh, slips to avoid the right. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Nice shot over the top there. He looks like Pac-Man. He's taken so many strikes to the head. Uppercut is good. Just over three minutes to go. Great punch landing with so much power. Oh, that's bone on bone. Nicely done with the high kick. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. High volume on both sides, and both of these guys are giving it as good as they're taking it. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Unable to land with that punch. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cut with every passing strike. Every strike. And it burns. John, it burns so bad. When you get cut like that, every time a shot lands, it just burns. So this guy needs to try to find a way to not take and limit the damage he's taken to this cut. Easier said than done, though. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter evades. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Oh, nice. Oh! Out of range with that one. Cut on his nose there. He is bleeding. Under a minute to go. Lands a solid kick right there. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Sniff that one out as he blocks the kick. Well, we'll see if he has any response here. His opponent continues to land. A lot of swelling upstairs. Well, you got to move your head. You've got to be preemptive. You cannot wait until your opponent starts to throw something in your direction. You've got to avoid right now if you want to avoid having this become an issue. Oh, the Superman punch lands. Ten seconds now to go in the round. So many different things. Right now. About Ten minutes in the can. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, well, I'm no doctor. I'm not going to diagnose a broken nose, but a huge cut on the bridge, and his opponent continues to attack it. Continues to attack it as he should. He did the damage. He was the one that landed the shot that opened up that cut. Now he's got to make his opponent pay for it. He was a bit lax in the defense, and now he's got that massive cut on the bridge of his nose. You ready to fight? Ready. Third Go round on the way. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes, and a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Superman punch lands! 
All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut. And man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flow. Yeah, as it should be. He should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work. He opened up the cut. Now it's on him to continue down the path and make the ringside position come in here and try to stop this fight. Just biding his time or just trying to get some extra reps, but go finish the guy. It seems like the guy's playing with suits. You know, he's having a good time out there. Everything's working. He's in the zone. It feels like at any moment he can end the night of his opponent. But he seems to be having fun. And hey, to each his own, I guess. I'd be rushing out of that opportunity. Yeah, you don't play with him. Oh! Oh, he gets back up, but barely. Look how wobbly he is. Well, if you like blood, perhaps this is the fight for you. That cut is really starting to open up wide now. It's starting to open up, but it doesn't seem to be affecting him too far. Oh, oh, and that will do it. Holy smokes. Bruce Buffer now has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute 39 seconds of the third round, declaring the winner by knockout and new UFC middleweight champion of the world, the gentleman. All right, so how about this result tonight as we congratulate the new UFC middleweight champion? It's a good thing you're not allowed to bet on these fights because... Uh... I like the champ coming in, but this guy sat across from us and said, I am going to get the job done. That belt is mine. He's only been keeping it warm. Tonight he became the champion just as he said he would.